love you guys. We have some visitors with us. We got a big surprise. <laughs> it's Dan and Joe. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> guys, we are here at the beautiful Peanut Island. It is gorgeous. Look how dark Michelle is. She is darker than I am. And I live here. Yeah. They look good. We've actually been with them for a few days. We haven't really videoed. We've just been talking in time. Yeah. We decided to pack it up. Jared is feeling better. Yes, I am feeling a little bit better, which is awesome. You guys are amazing. Thank you for all those sweet comments. I know. Eyes are feeling a little bit better. Still cannot wear contacts, unfortunately. So he's got his transitional glasses. Yeah, they're like right they're like dark right now. I like it. I think they it's cool. They are. Yeah. Shade. Shade. Yeah. Shade. You know. Shade. There you go. Cool guy shade. Two That's right. So we thought we'd bring Dan and Shell out to Peanut Island. You. For a great day out on Peanut Island. Ten out of ten, guys. We saw so many jellyfish, which actually I thought was really cool. We got a few stings, but it doesn't hurt. Daniel peed on me. It was great. <laughs> it was perfect. The downer is because of all the jellyfish. They were big this time. I've never seen they were really like big. This. They were yeah. huge. Jared, they were like I would say that big, like this. Yeah, like huge. Like generally that big. Yeah, they were massive. Sure. Yeah. Jared was so excited. He packed all the water scooters. Yep. And only Daniel was brave enough to go Daniel's out going for the team. What's up, you guys? Welcome to Jared and Britt. We're out here at Peanut Island, right in the intercoastal. Pretty epic, you guys. But today we got some jellyfish infested waters. There's oh, there's one. another one right there. Yeah, there's two. Oh, They're there. everywhere. <laughs> Holy cow. I'm a little nervous, but Jared has this massive new toy. If you guys don't know, if you're new to Jared and Britt, Jared is the scooter king. He has scooters on land, scooters on water. Once they invent scooters on air, Jared will have them. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I think this thing has plenty of power to dodge the jellyfish. Oh yeah. To dodge them. Dodge them. Dodge them. I'm hoping. I keep looking down at my feet to make sure they're not around. Daniel's bobbing and weaving jellyfish all day. Let's try this out. Let's do this. <laughs> Scooty. Do you see any? Oh, I see one right there. Oh my gosh. Well, let's try this. The waves came in. I thought it kind of, you know, washed them out. Does this thing float? It weighs about 70 pounds. <laughs> oh, look it. The jellies are going to be scared of that. Yeah, the jellies. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're, go we're sinking. Oh, I need a mask up. Mask up. And thumbnail. <laughs> Uh -huh. I'm sorry, what was that? Could you repeat that, sir? <laughs> Safety first. Safety would be staying on shore. Safety! <laughs> Safety second. Daniel. Enjoyment first. Daniel, I volunteer to pee on you if you get stung by a jelly. Thank you. Shell has poor aim. Notoriously poor aim. <laughs> I think I'll ask one of the other gentlemen on Notoriously the beach. Notoriously poor aim. <laughs> Everyone knows that about Shell. Everyone? All right, guys. Sub, sub blue. Sub blue. Newest, oh, look. The greatest. Look, it's like spewing out. The jelly ears are for sure scared of that. Okay, power on. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Holy crap. This thing has some power. I'm going to pull these up real quick. You're going to like have a wake behind that. Give me a freaking surfboard. All right, I'm going to take off. Okay, good luck. Safety first. <laughs> Pilot Jared here. Got dual hat. What's going on here? Trying to shade the phone while we him. drone. Ooh. Daniel. He's where is he? He's way out there. He hey Jared, where are you from? Florida, Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> Check it on the hat. <laughs> like the jellyfish would come into my view. Really? So fast, it was like. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't not ride that thing. It's monster. Yeah, the new scooty. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Take it on the maiden voyage. 
He did. And I also had the opportunity to go out and explore, venture off while these guys were sunbathing and it was awesome. This is my first time I've ever been on this bridge before. I've always like droned it, but I've never actually gone and walked on it. And it's really pretty right here. Like very picturesque, very beautiful. Just like this backdrop right there alone. Like that's gorgeous. I'm gonna have to tell my sister to come over here and get some photos because this is very, very pretty. Look at that, that's beautiful. It feels like you're not in Florida anymore. It kind of feels like you're in the Caribbean a little bit. No one's really out snorkeling just because there's so many jellyfish. However, Daniel was pretty brave and he did venture in and he kind of like went around on the water scooter. He said it was so much fun. He said it was super fast and he had a blast with it. But he did say he's constantly dodging like jellyfish and trying to get out of the way of them. This is like also part of that area with the bridges that people just never go to. I mean, it's completely barren over here. I'm the only person here and it's like super pretty. You can definitely get in the water right here. I mean, it's the same lagoon that feeds off into here. There's signs posted everywhere saying there's no lifeguards on duty, obviously on this area. Look how pretty this bridge is. This is amazing. It's just crazy. Like I've never actually like been over here at all. One crazy thing that we did learn that I did not know as well when we were actually on like our tour over here, they've done like some like renovations since like we've been here before. Like they've done now, they have like speakers on the boat that tell you a little bit of history about Pina Island itself. And even when you get here, it's all like filled in with grass. Before it used to be all sand, like just one giant like island with no grass at all and they filled it in. But another thing they told us that I had no idea about, apparently it's just like right behind us, like over here somewhere, I'm guessing near that house you kind of saw for a split second. Apparently that that is a bomb shelter that JFK had like way back in the day. I guess he never used it or anything like that. But the guy said that they're in the middle of like getting it back up and ready to potentially use as like a tourist attraction for people to come here. And so that would be really cool to see. I had no idea that that thing was here on the island the entire time. And we've been here so many times before. I will say though, these bridges, this is very picturesque. Look at that. <laughs> that is so cool. Wow. Look at this iguana. Can you guys see that iguana? It's like slowly moving. I'm just gonna try to get closer to it, but just slowly move. Hopefully it doesn't really, really notice me at all. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh my gosh. Look how close I'm getting. Look how close I am. Look, 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 look. That's me. That's it. <laughs> That is crazy. Oh my gosh. One thing's for sure, I may have to come back and bring the scooters, our electric scooters. Look how much fun this would be to just like cruise around. This entire island is covered in like a cobblestone pathway. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. So we're on Riviera Beach right now and down this way, you can kind of see it off in the distance. That's West Palm. Then across the bridge, that's Palm Beach. That's basically where all the super fancy houses are. You can kind of see them along here. All of them are just beachfront, which is very, very cool. Waterfront. Fortunately, I did not bring my phone. So I can't have a way of like calling them and to come out here. But look at that. Oh my gosh. If you guys come to Pina Island, we've never done this before. I obviously, you know, I'm the, this is the very first time I'm doing it. And you have to do this. You have to take this walk. It is so beautiful. I think most people who come here, they see how beautiful like the island is itself. You know, there's tons of palm trees. It's like white sandy beaches. There's tons of seashells for kids to pick up. And the water's pretty darn calm. So it's like perfect for snorkeling. Unfortunately, there's jellyfish today. And honestly, I don't even think I would have ventured out this way hadn't it been for the jellyfish. So thank goodness for the jellyfish because here I am exploring. And this is amazing. Okay, jellyfish. You guys will definitely be able to see this. You guys see that right there? <laughs> yep, there's tons of those everywhere out in the water right now. So usually when we do the snorkeling, we kind of get really close to these rocks right here because like that's where a lot of the fish are. In fact, that's probably where the most of them are. We've only snorkeled over here once in like this area, just one time and there wasn't really many fish, but there was something very cool. You probably won't be able to tell too much, but right here, you see how dark it gets right there? So it's kind of like light, 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 and then it gets super dark. Well, that's not because of the rocks. It's actually super deep right there. It's about like 40 feet deep right there. It's crazy. Quite a few people here snorkeling, although I think it might be a little bit safer spot to post up and snorkel just because it is pretty darn shallow. It's a lot more clear, so it's easier to see the fish. There's a, there's a ray right there. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh my gosh. Isn't that cool? That <laughs> All right, I just learned something pretty darn cool. Apparently there's like a lot more of like the bigger fish that chill out in this area right here. 
like I was just talking to a lady here. It looks like she's like a doing like a tour guide right now. She said that this area is like where like the manatee like to come and chill at, like the stingrays. And we just saw one, which was awesome. I think it was like perfect that I was on this bridge because they couldn't really see it in the water from like below. But since I'm above looking down into the water, I could see it really well. And I was pointing like stingray, like look down in the water, like look to your right. And this one girl who had like a GoPro at the time, she's like, oh my gosh, she was like right in front of her. I think this might be what they were talking about, which were there, they said they're in the process of renovating. I don't really know about this, but this they're definitely working on. You can tell there's like a little construction going on over there. But this is what they said was the bomb shelter for JFK back in the day. Jared went on a nature walking tour. <laughs> it was. With his two fur glasses. That was cool, me and my friends. <laughs> <laughs> We've been giving Jared a hard time with this. He went on a bird watching tour. <laughs> there were birds. Actually, I did see a manta ray. Or, you did. I know. Or a ray. Because whatever. Look how beautiful this background is. The water is gorgeous. It's beautiful. We saw a huge like shipping container go yeah, off earlier. Awesome. And now we're so excited because we are going to go drive through Palm Beach. You. What? Show them all the beautiful. Never seen it. They've never seen it. Streets and everything. So it should be really fun. Vale la pena. Okay, I just gotta share this quick story. We were over in the shade for just a minute because we didn't want to stand in the hot sun. We didn't want to miss the ferry. So the ferries come every 20 minutes, but today and they only have one going. See ya. And we were the last cut off. <laughs> there was a big family going and we were like, oh, probably should have gone in front of that family. They got on. Look at that. Four, that's our cut off. Daniel actually said two and he said yes. And I said four. So, yeah, Daniel, you guys, say two, say two. <laughs> Every man for himself. It was so funny though. Daniel's all like, if we miss that ferry, it's de gonna be detrimental. And we're literally the last ones. Ah. <laughs> Daniel, we stood in the shade for three minutes. We stand out here for 20. <laughs> Comes every 20 minutes.